Archie's. We already got Gronk in the corner. We got a trigger, and Rat thinks he's got a group of people with that. Woo! Good fishing day. We'll put this one back. Still little. Group of keeper at the dam, baby. Yum yum. Good dinner. It's gonna be a good day. There you have it. Yet another off the hook recipe. Our burger shish kebab. Bon appetit. It was a nice fishing day. We're bringing home the fresh catch of the day, and I got a juicy one to share with you. So I'll see you back at the house. Look beautiful already. And then we're gonna add our piece of fish on the very top. And add a little bit more. Look, we're piling this way high, guys. This is fantastic. A little Grated Parmesan. And garnish with a lemon wedge. And voila, you have this beautiful yet off the hook on the plate recipe. Home fresh catch of the day today. It's a beautiful day, but a little too windy to go offshore. So that's why we're staying in shore today. So hopefully we'll catch some trout. Oh, the pinfish aren't working, so I'm gonna try this nice little feather jig here. Look at look at this beautiful trout I just got. Enchilada for your Mexican night. Bon appetit. Blunt? Yep. So you push the trigger. Check out that trigger and that cool, everybody. Ooh, good fishing day. This is excellent fish to catch. Excellent to eat. And again, feel the bones. See the bones are right here? You just want to stay above the bones and you'll get a nice fillet there. All over the top, just like so. And a little bit around. Yum. We made it to our favorite spot. We had some action on the way here. I thought it was mackerels, but they were little tummies, which are a type of uh, tuna, but it's not good to eat. But they sure give you a nice fight. That was fun. So now it's time to catch the fresh catch of the day. With a nice red over here, just caught this one. And believe it or not, it's happening short. So we got to put it back. I'm taking a little break right now. We're doing really good. The coolers fill it up really fast, which is great. But I wanted to share with you a couple of little tools that I really like to always have on the boat. And of course, that's our measuring sticks. And on the sticks, it has for per inches what fish you can keep and uh, how long or how short they need to be to actually be a keeper. Sometimes they have a range. Then my second thing is this little book here. Uh, you have an inshore type, and this is the offshore for the West Coast. So this is perfect. So when you don't know what you're catching, look it up. Sometimes it's excellent fish, and sometimes it's just junk fish. You gotta put it back. So just wanna share those things with you. Now placing the cooked hogfish right on top of the sauce like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Add a couple green chive on the top. Grade a little orange zest all over the top. A superb creamy orange sauce. You are just gonna love this. Yet another off the hook recipe in no time. Hi, I'm Josie Lancy. Welcome to Up the Hook on the Fling. Today we're gonna head up shore and have a little fun, do a little fishing. Let's see what we can get and bring home for the fresh catch of the day. Who knows what it's gonna be today, but I'm excited about it. Then we're gonna head back to the kitchen.
watching again some trout today. They're out here and uh, I've caught a few and Brent's caught a few, so we're coming home with good trout. But the, for those of you that don't know, uh, when you cast and retrieve with trout, you really have to slow it down. So if you think you're reeling back in too fast, the chances are you are. They are very lazy. It's almost like feeding them slowly. So you just have to reel back in. a few pieces of fish, approximately three per person. It's perfect.